Uh, let me stay a, a bit more on the issues concerning Delta State. Um, this is perhaps a growing concern, yeah. um, politically speaking. The federal government announced the return of a 4.2 billion pounds Ibori loot, but it will be earmarked for some federal government projects. Some Deltans and lawyers have argued that such funds should be plowed for projects for Delta people. What is your government doing to bring home those monies? Okay, in the first instance, just to correct the figure, it's 4.2 million, 4.2 million pounds, not 4.2 billion, as you say, it's 4.2 million pounds. Yes, we've seen that. Uh, I, I listened to members of the House of Rep, represent the United States. They took a motion which was passed and that has been communicated. But on our own part, uh, I've spoken with the Attorney General of the Federation. Uh, my Attorney General uh, went to have a meeting with him. I think that we are, we, we, we are working and we are likely to come on the same page. We have written a formal letter of protest to Mr. President. Uh, which we have also copied the office of the Attorney General. You see, uh, many people will possibly want to see me uh, shout about those things, but I believe in going through a bureaucratic process, and many times we have had successes through that. I believe that us is to convince the federal government for them to know that uh, actually that money ought to be returned to Delta, or if it's not going to be returned directly to Delta, it must be spent on, pro it must be spent on projects that are within Delta. Otherwise, the people of Delta will feel cheated. So we have approached it in, in, a, in a manner that we think is right by f formally having a meeting, and then we have not put a position on paper and written to Mr. President, and we have made two critical suggestions. Return the money for us to apply to projects that we feel will be right. But in that same letter, we have also communicated because we have seen the MOU that is signed with the British government, and we feel that we needed to approach it in this uh, smart manner for us to be able to get uh, get the results. We have also put in that letter projects as an alternative that they can directly release the money to, and those projects we know. Uh, are quite beneficial to, to Delta State. So any of the projects that we have suggested to them, we expect that they can, in the alternative, they cannot directly send the money to us uh, because of the, uh, the situation concerning the MOUs that they signed, that they should assign those monies directly uh, to the uh, contractors who are executing these projects that we have clearly stated on the paper uh, and communicated to Mr. President. Are you I believe we are going to get results. Are you afraid that uh, maybe, because we understand that this is just uh, some part of a larger fund that is yet to come, and based on the agreement and the talks with the, the federal government and the UK government, we might be seeing some more money is being repatriated to the country. Are you afraid that Delta State might not be able to benefit directly from this 4.2 million, which we expect that by now it should be back into the country because we understand that it was supposed to take two weeks before it gets into the country because of the agreement signed with the UK government. Hmm. I, I believe, I, I'm very confident that we are going to have a success story the way we have gone about it. Uh, I believe is, is in the in the civil service, in the public service, there are ways of doing communication. Some people say go to court, but we don't believe that. We need to exhaust every means that is available to us bureaucratically, and we believe that we are on the right course. I'm confident that that money uh, will come either directly to Delta State or be applied to projects uh, uh, within Delta State because it is it, it, is the money, as, as we talk about it today, uh, is some reasonable amount of money, about $2.2 billion uh, in Naira. That is not even going to have any real impact on the projects that they were talking about. But the projects that were su su uh, suggested to them in Delta State, I believe that they put $2 billion inside. It is something that is going to be uh, created it's some reasonable impact in the project that will affect the lives of the people. And if there's any further money being repatriated, we will stay on course through dialogue, through the bureaucratic processes available to us, 
to ensure that we get our funds directly to Delta or directly to projects in Delta states. Thank <music> you.